Honorable members, the message is on the nomination of persons for appointment to offices of cabinet secretaries. Honorable members, Standing Order 421 relating to messages from the President provide that the Speaker shall read to the House any message from the President delivered to the Speaker for communication to the House. In this regard, I wish to convey to the House that this afternoon I have received a further message from His Excellency the President notifying the nomination of various persons to appointment to the offices of Cabinet Secretaries. The names are in addition to the ones I conveyed to the House yesterday. In the message, His Excellency the President conveys that in exercise of powers conferred on him by Articles 152.2 of the Constitution, as read together with Section 3 and 5 of the Public Appointments Parliamentary Approval Act 2011, he nominates various persons for appointment to the aforementioned offices. For clarity, Article 152.2 of the Constitution states, and I quote, the President shall nominate and with the approval of the National Assembly appoint Cabinet Secretaries. The names of persons submitted to this House for approval for appointment as Cabinet Secretaries are as follows. John Mbandi Ngongo, EGH, Cabinet Secretary, the Order, Mili, Cabinet Secretary, the National Treasury and Economic Planning. <laughs> Honorable Salim Mvuriangala Mugala, EGH, Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Investment, Trade and Industry. Honorable Rebecca Miano, EGH, Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Tourism and Wildlife. Honorable James Opio Wandai, EGH, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Energy and Petroleum. Honorable Onesmas Kipchumba Murkumen, EGH, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports. Honorable Hassan Ali Joho, EGH, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Youth, Ministry of Mining, Blue Economy, and Maritime Affairs. Honorable Dr. Alfred Nganga Mutua EGH, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Labor and Social Protection. Honorable Wycliffe Ambeza of Paranya, EGH, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Cooperative and Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Development. Honorable Justin Betan Njoka Mturi EGH, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Public Service and Human Capital Development. Honorable Ms. Stella Soy Langat, Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Gender, Culture, the Arts and Heritage. In view of the foregoing and pursuant to the provision of Section 8 of the Public Appointments, Parliamentary Approval Act of 2011, Order, Order Mayaka, In view of the foregoing and pursuant to the provisions of Section 8 of the Public Appointments Parliamentary Approval Act 2011, as read together with the Standing Order 42.3, I hereby refer the message from the President together with the curriculum vitae of the nominees to the Committee on Appointments. Honorable Members, Section 8 of the Public Appointments Parliamentary Approval Act 2011, provides that unless otherwise provided in law, the committee to which such nomination is referred shall consider the matter and table a report in the House within 28 days. It is therefore imperative that the Committee on Appointments consolidates the names contained in the two lists and immediately commence the process of consideration of the nominees. The committee is expected to immediately notify the nominees and the general public commence the necessary approval hearings and table its report in the House soonest to enable the House to consider the nominees within the stipulated timelines. I thank you. Call out again now order number 10.